What's up, YouTube world? Wanted to talk to you guys today about mowing yards and dodging storms. Uh, one of the things I do on a regular basis is uh, route my day according to what is most profitable according to the jobs that I have for that particular day. Um, I wish I could uh, run my business like some other people do, but I'm not that style where I'm in the same neighborhood every day or I'm in the same area every day or I want to have a thousand yards in the same neighborhood. I mean, that's ideal, but it doesn't always uh, end up going that way. So uh, you make the best of every day by laying out your route and uh, answering the phone and uh, kind of weeding out the um, people that might not be the best fit for your company. Uh, are they um, nearby your uh, one route? If not, that's fine. Um, maybe there's a landscape job that can you know be uh, filled in on the weekend. I typically mow uh, mainly on the week and do uh, landscaping and uh, yard cleanups on the weekends. Um, unless it's slow, then, you know, you kind of fill your schedule in accordingly. Um, I, uh, can pick up easily, uh, five to 30 yards a, a week if I wanted, but it's not about, um, going out there and having a, a thousand yards. It, it's about, uh, living a life that is satisfying to you where other people know that you're happy with what you do. Uh, you got into a particular uh, business, you had a desire or you had a burning sensation that you had a purpose and that purpose is whatever. So if you got in the business of landscaping, lawn care, turf maintenance and so on, that's your purpose. And if you got in the field of being a professional baseball player, athletes, uh, athletics, um, basketball, football, and so on, that's what you felt your purpose was. And uh, as you live your life, as you uh, plan your route, as you chart your course, you make the best of every day. So I'm here in uh, Jacksonville, Florida, making the best of 900 square miles every day. It might be a little bit bigger service area than that, but roughly 900 square miles. So you go figure how you're going to go make money when you're mowing yards, dodging storms, hedge trimming, landscaping, dodging storms. Um, in Florida, you got pop-up storms, you got the big, uh, nice uh, hurricanes that blow into town and they blow somewhere else. Then you got the tropical storm blowing up the coast here. I think it's going to hit St. Augustine any day now and really not have much too much of an impact on Jacksonville. But there are other storms that blow across the country and come sweeping across Florida and visit us here in Jacksonville. So I enjoy, I enjoy the uh, challenge of um, uh, <laughs> Mother Nature, really. Um, you, you, get to, uh, you get to be challenged by making the yard look great without all the extra rain, without all the extra you know, it's like, okay, do we do the yard today or do we put it off tomorrow? Do we skip a, a week because it rained this time? Or did we skip it twice in a row because it's, it's rained the last couple times we've been here? So you, you kind of have to plan accordingly. I, I say I um, can easily complete 90% of my jobs that I do. I try not to overload what I do uh, 10 to 12 yards is a uh, is good for me um, I say I do about 80 yards a week on average um, but I have done up to 30 yards in a day before so 
I can do it. Um, I've done uh, landscape jobs as big as, uh, I think, three or four acres. So it, I, I can easily fit the bill. I can uh, take on the challenge, show my customer what I can do with a team of um, hired temps. Then I can go back to being a solo uh, lawn care expert. Do I have to be the biggest and baddest of everybody out there um, in the lawn care business? No. You know, I can be uh, like uh, Jonathan Potoshnik if I focus myself and grow my business to that size. But I'm not going to be uh, that. I, I don't want to be that. I'm happy um, with uh, a challenge every once in a while to do a, a new build. Um, let's say it might be a, a new Holiday Inn Express, a Hampton Inn. Um, that might be an acre or two. Um, I might uh, help do a medical facility, which I've done in the past. Um, landscaping. I've done um, new construction and uh, kind of restoration of yards, bank-owned homes. Um, I can go on and on and on and say what I've done, where I want to go. But if you have you talk about your thoughts your dreams and hopes and plan accordingly and go back and recheck them th that's the important part taking the course correction listen to other people listen to people that are successful listen to people that aren't successful and realize that you want to be like people that are successful versus people that are not successful um, you don't want to have the broke mentality. You don't want to have the uh, that it's not enough. You want to know that there's abundance out there and that when you wake up, you can go and hit your goals because there are plenty of jobs to go out there and build the business that you uh, see yourself having. And um, when the rain comes and it, it challenges you, um, and your desire to build a uh, bigger and better business, you're just going to have to learn how to deal with it. You're outside. Um, you, you might have a construction business, a uh, landscape business. Um, I know a couple people that do. And um, I might go that way someday, but right now I'm happy where I'm at. And you're going to have to learn how to... Uh, deal with the rain in those situations where a uh, heavy downpour, especially in Florida, that happens a lot. So you, you're going to have to plan and figure out how to deal with that. Um, kind of wrap this up. My final thoughts, uh, mowing yards and dodging storms is make the right move. Make the right move to run uh, advertising that is honest and when you answer the phone make sure you have a script that's consistent a, you build a system so when you hire somebody they, they can answer the phone give the quotes give the pricing so you can go out there and get more jobs to grow your business and see really take your business to the next level uh, where you see yourself so thanks again and uh, have a great great day